Gassy, Gassy, Gassy. Yes, yes, yes. What's up? What's up? What's up? We doing well. We doing well, man. Just catching up and uh, making sure that we stay naturally mystic yes, during these yes, mysterious yes. times. Mysterious moments, you know. You know, but um, remind you of the days of the fear was, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When uh, the first bond was taken out, you know. But you see again, you know, after a storm, it must be a calm. So I just endurance, you know. Endurance, endurance. Well, look, I just wanted to, you know, do a quick gloves on, gloves off, you know, you know, regroup. It's been a while, and um, there's, a, there's a lot going on. I mean, from the the coronavirus to just clobbering everybody, and you know, prayers up for everybody that um, lost loved ones for uh, because of this pandemic. But um, you know, we just gotta keep 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 the faith, keep healthy, keep washing those hands, and and keep supporting our healthcare workers. That are on the front lines, really trying to and, and get everybody healthy. And most of all, it's social distancing as a, you know, mandatory, and you know, keep yeah. the face covered. Yeah, it's a, great, up, it's a and, great intervention. And bless up our, our, you know, our fire and police who are out there trying their best. But, you know, I've been hearing horror stories about, um, you know, crime in in our city just creeping back up and. And it didn't just happen overnight. It happened gradually and then suddenly. So I just wanted to talk to you about, you know, some of these things because it, it bothers me to know that, you know, all the hard work that was put in over the years to make our city safer, but also, um, you know, build it up. Man, just like that, it gets taken down. Yeah, you're right. You know, but, um, just the other day, you have a car over there at Adams Avenue in Mulberry now. It is a um about three block they put it on and take off take off three of the tire them, you know, and then you have my friend over there right beside the prison. His car window was smashed, you know, people trying to get this bag or something, whatever you have on the back seat. And you have to pay away eight hundred dollar to get it repaired. That is a economical loss. So, you know, people are taking advantage that they this this thing that going on, you know. Yeah. Well. Um. And there is this fear still of the police them coming around. Cause the police them scare themselves and they then contact. You know, it's, it's you know as I said, Richard Thomas, man. Um. Only a man like you could have really keep the thing level at this moment, you know. But we have to work with what we have right now. Well, look, love over rules, and I and I just want to make sure everybody knows who we are. I'm Rich Thomas, former mayor of Mount Vernon, and we got Firehouse Gassy, Father Gassy, on the yeah, line. Yeah, the goalie, the goalie general, and we have, you know, the also on this side here, the Rasta class, we have Bobo Jassy, a man who represents humanity. We have Sonas Lassi, we have the great Mobiles represent Levi, and, you know, legendary Cherry. Cherry and you know, we have Mr. McDonald as we call him. But respect, we have respect. a great panel over on this side here can enumerate and elaborate and whatever topic we can give the people them to keep them <laughs> to keep them um enlightened and focused, well, you know. It's an honor. It's a historical moment today, the twentieth of April, which actually you know, when yeah. we believe in some here is Marijuana Day, you know. Yeah, yeah no. it's, it's appropriate that we <laughs> that, that we speak. <laughs> and, yeah, uh, it's a day and, and smoke. Yeah, August says, you know, smoke for me. Central Park, they would show the weed from the helicopter and make people smoke. You know, the flowers <laughs> try them. So it's a great day today. And my birth month, twenty days from April first. You know, the first day of the you know, Ruben, uh, Master of Astrology. So everything. We have the lunar moon show tonight. You know, and we have the mirror and firehouse, yes, Kingston 11, Barn Kingston and Jamaica up in the building. So, hey, quarantine, we say, you know, we're good. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I remember we have the tea and the fire, you know, we can't give them a recipe to get a great tea to keep themselves from all what's going on. And not like home remedy, you know. Pharmaceutical is really all about cooperation. Well, Mr. Mayor, I don't want to out-talk you. Yeah. Go ahead, sir. Now, look, I, I just, you know, look, it, that's one of the things that we do. We talk. And, and I think, you know, people don't understand how, you know, how much I listen, not just to you or, or the feedback you get from people on the street, but how much I listen to different points of view. And, right. and I remember one time you, you issued a challenge to me back in 2000, you know, 14, 15, before I was mayor. You, you always said Mount Vernon needed tourism. Mount Vernon needed a tourism office. Mount Vernon yeah, needed man. to oh do stuff. Oh, my God. Mount Vernon, I'm still on for a billion dollar. I would have said a trillion dollar market. That is, I've been suppressing a long time. And I don't know why, but... You know, where I'm from in Jamaica, and everybody knows tourism is one of our major industry, along with exporting and, you know, money, you know, mine in the backside. But what happened with tourism is it brings it bring a different concept to a community. Mm -hmm. Because we are talking about modernizing a community and make it also industrialized because we believe in that a child is supposed to start to earn as early as eight years old. And that will cut out, you know, crime and social injustice. So tourism was a, a part of that strategy. And then born on the media era of Michael Manley who believe in you know, democratic socialism, or who believe in self-reliance, you know, with Michael, Marcus Garvey's philosophy. We believe that tourism is one of our main way of getting out of poverty as, as, as black people. Uh, you know, we gave my illustration that, look, we take one coconut and we make $200 from one coconut. Mm. They say, oh, I said, look at this. We break the coconut and we grate the coconut and we make juice with the coconut and we get rice and we make rice and peas with the coconut juice. Then we take the trash and then we make candy because we put sugar in it and we stew it down and we make candy with it. That's the next money. Mm -hmm. And then we take the shell and we clean it up, varnish it, and paint it and make what we call brooch to put on your clothes, you know, and put a pin behind it. Mm -hmm. What coconut we use, I will sell so much piece of $15, $10, sell the rice and peas that made up from the coconut juice. I will sell the candy that we call coconut, you know, coconut, you know, where we call it, you know, coconut drops. And, and you know, look, a lot of people think that you know, the tourism plan for Mount Vernon was coconuts, but no. it wasn't. And, you know, no. one of the things that, that, you know, people don't realize is that um, a lot of things that, that I did, though, outside the box was based on plans. Plans right. that were developed by NYU Stern School of Business. And I listened a lot to um, not just the, the business students and the feedback that they gave, but, but I also listened to what people had to say and and a lot of different plans you know served as a foundation for basically the actions that I took as mayor after I would consult with a lawyer to make sure that everything we were doing was above board and, and you know and you know the circumstances in Mount Vernon I mean like it was it was tough because um you know, we had a situation where we didn't have the cooperation of different arms of government. But to not look back at that and start, you know, pointing fingers and trying to, you know, waste time um, like like was done. I wanted to always make sure we made the most of our time by doing every little bit we could to make it better from embracing plans to spark up tourism by constantly meeting with restaurant owners and, and barbershop owners and, and hair salon operators and 
and trying to get people to, to buy into this vision of we can, as a Mount Vernon city, compete with Miami. And, and people say, how? We have plans to do it. Everything is as we vision it. You know, mm-hmm. making Mount Burnham the pride of New York State. Because we have seen that Mount Burnham, not only is it a historical city, but it represents a very strategic point in New York. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, you know, when I came here from Jamaica, you know, 1987, July the 14th, you know, uh, my son born the 4th of July. And I remember they were still letting up stuff when I look across Queens. And I was telling my friend, my son, that, you know something, my son? We was late for your birthday, you know what I mean? Because he born on the day that the U.S. celebrate its birthday. Yep. So they were still firing up things. So I tell him, say, listen, he was nine years old when I take him over here, you know. We get our visa from the U.S. Embassy, you know. We never smuggle come in. And even if we smuggle, what about the people who come to any side and they never get a visa? But anyhow, um, Mr. Mayor, next year when his birthday came, he become 10 years old. And he saw the celebration and all those things. He was like, Daddy, you are the greatest daddy. It was about when he was 16, he said, Daddy, you know, you tricked me, right? I was like, why? He said, my birthday and America birthday is the same day. You was the one that celebrated me, you know. So, coming to this country, I know there was a great opportunity. Because I remember as a young man, 1979, I went to the U.S. Embassy. And because I have all my locks, you know, they mm-hmm. turned me back. They say that they're not going to let me come over here because I have all locks. And they turned me back. That was 1979. So I cut off my locks 1984, and they gave me my visa 1987, and I came over here. So, you know, and everybody know I went to the State Department two months. I came here July, and I waited till July, August, September, and the first week in August, October, I went down to the State Department downtown Manhattan and tell them I want to go back home. I'm like, America is not what they say it is. And they say, what I mean? <laughs> I said, I used to see the pretty part and nice part. And all I see is like, they say, you know something, let's give him two weeks to go back home. I didn't give him two weeks and I went back to Jamaica and I come back and, you know, I start to work, you know, right there at second and third when they used to have a health machine, you know, the guy used to make health machine. And then, you know, I gradually work at Rye High School, you know. Nine eleven catch me working at Porchester. You know, um, that girl, that lady named Martha Stewart, fuck me, yeah, I was working with Martha Stewart, you know, when 9 11 happened, you know, and I eventually get to go to college. I was one of the first computer, um, you know, computer scientists at Manuel College in New Rochelle, 98, 2000 students. So, you know, and I take political science when I was in. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Mayor, I was the first West Indian computer scientist at Manuel College. Mr. Ma- Mr. Jerome was my best friend, like me and you, you know. <laughs> Mr. Jerome loved me, you know what I mean? So, and, and, you know, and, and, you know, but this and is... I, have fought, I have 42 credit in, in computer at Manuel College, it's there on record. So I am qualified to talk to the youngest mayor. I'm you don't have to qual- you don't right. listen. Nobody, you don't have to qualify, man. You, 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 you legendary Mount Vernon <laughs> through and through. And this is, but I, I want to go I back. Did, I I'm a big brother. I'm a man who I grew up from there. Every year, when I went to Marvel School, 1968. I mean, this man I went there, you know, and play one of the greatest football soccer. You know, man, I have to watch them. I wonder where the hell them get them moves from. You know. You know, the man, the ball just pretty, you know, Marvel, eh? You know, so he's a, one of my mentors here. He's a man that, yeah, you know, me contribute to everything. You know, I, I, this man is like, I'm telling him, you know, I'm Father, it's the last year I make a come in here tonight, you know. But yeah, the great prophet Joshua is, you know, a man who I've seen the great um, Emmanuel, one of the few men alive, which is the man there, which is an honor to have them, man. And not only that, just one nurture all of us. So, 
my music, me, everything I just for from there level, you know. <laughs> but I'm a brother of the man of not the Garfield, but me Anna, she has a great Joshua, so, you know, a legend in the building, you know. So, but so. I'm going to make him talk, you know. So, I'm going to come out of the seat, you know, and you're going to talk to the great Bubba Joshua now, and you're going to hear him right now. I'm my boss, and the great King David in the building. So, Mr. Mayor, I'm going to, and we have Ali, the great Ali just walk up in the building, you know. So, they, we have a great panel tonight. All right, Joshua, come over here, Santi. <laughs> <laughs> what up, the bubble? Yeah, greetings. Greetings, 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 greetings. blessings. Blessed, blessed love, blessed love. So Come we on, give thanks, you know. We we have to give thanks, and we, and we have these you know these spiritual times right now. You know, I know the the coronavirus yeah. is just completely out of control, and uh, you know it's 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 a shame that that we have this pandemic, but we just got to keep. Keep the faith, keep, you know, praying for everybody because it is definitely, um, you know, a biblical moment in our time. Yeah, well, you see, um, right now, we, we, we really need, we really need to, to, to really check within yourself now, still, you know. And, um, you know, we directly have to, to be really conscious about what's going on right now, still, you know. And... Safety measurements and all those things we really have to really consider, you know. So, you know, we can really get through this pandemic here, really, you know, because this is really a part of the prophecy I saw to, you know, you know? Yeah. because as, as, as the prophecy did show, we, you know, we, 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 we will definitely actually, if we don't know what to do, we actually go and destroy ourselves. You know what I mean? I know what you mean, and so, that, and, and that's why yeah. I, you know I, I I always listen very carefully to to pick up the the real signals in between the noise, and and one of the signals that 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 you and and the Rasta class and Gassy you know give you I give you I give light, and and you spread nothing but love for a good life, and that's where I just want to continue to thank you guys for continuing to meet. And encouraging everybody, especially during this, uh, again, these biblical times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, we, we did, like you said before, you know, we actually we need this spiritual, you know, guidance between yourself, you know, you know and, and the upliftment also, you know, because, like I said, you know, this is not anything that we can really take, like it is just simple, you know. Mm -hmm. So we really have to, you know, look into yourself very much and, and keep yourself um, in a con concern about what is going on, you know, with, with, each, with each and every one because, you see, the thing, this is not a, 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 a one-sided thing, you know, this is a universal thing, so, you know, and mm -hmm. I really, and I really, you know, um, pray for you. You know, the, the, the pandemic can really, you know, ease up on thing and all of that with everyone. And for everyone that losing them life and all them things, you know, yeah. families, them and, you know, we really, you know, we really give a prayer for everyone still. You know, because like I said, this is just something that everyone is in the same boat right now. You know, and we all have to live in, you see, the thing about it, you know, we, we all have to directly, so that to really care for each other now, you yes. know what I mean? Yep. So, you know, by saving yourself, you're saving in someone else, you know, and things. So that is really the love right now that we need to share and spread, you know, around. You know what I mean? I know what yes, you mean. So, you know, it's really, it's really, it's really a time now of, of um, we have to find some solitude thing, you know, yourself and, you know, as them said, you know, social distance and mass and all these things and, you know, just go along with, um, you know, the program as it said, you know. So, okay. so I just want to briefly um, speak to, to a couple of points and, yeah. and you know, look, Without the right equipment, without the right resources, there's very little that can be done. 
And, that is true. That and, is true. and while we while while yes, we must keep the faith, we, we have to make sure that that people know that there are a lot of facts out there that that we have to focus on over the fear in the fiction and definitely got to wash hands. You definitely got to keep the distance, got to wear a mask. Right. But, right. but but right. but if you don't have the equipment like today, I heard that the nurses sued a couple of the hospitals. They sued Montefiore. They sued a few other um, they sued the, the State Department of Health, um, basically seeking enforcement of, of mandates to provide equipment that, that's, you know, essential. And, and I get it. I mean, like, when your life is on the line, you, you definitely have to, um, you have to go and fight for what you need. And, and I think that, um, you know, I commend the nurses for standing up to get what, what they need to protect us. But we got to continue to do our part. And everybody stay home until, um, you know, we get um, the all clear to, to start, you know, moving about. But 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 I do want to, Gassy, not in this discussion, but in a follow up discussion, talk about the impact on our social um, life, our civil liberties that are being sacrificed and taken away in this moment. But I also yeah. want to mention everybody that we're going to talk about in another talk, you know, what the future should look like. Because we know that that right now, what you described when we started sh talking um, at the beginning of the show, you know, you've seen a lot of you know bad things happen, and 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 we want those bad things to stop, which is why, you know, we work so hard to to build those relationships, be it with the police and the community, be it with the recreation department doing different types of events. Um, we experimented a lot to identify what the real costs were for the the regiment to make mount vernon better and and i think a lot of people um don't understand that because you know a lot of people operate from a different place and 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 that's where i always say you know if you just stop and listen you'll 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 learn that you know we all are working toward the same thing and and it should be better better mount vernon and i think we all agree with that in the local time you do you do something right after 20 years, 14 years, after 20 years, there? I'm here, I'm here. Yeah, after 20 years, 14 Avenue Bridge is open, looking beautiful. Um, After 20 years, Mount Vernon, I'm going to have a brand new stadium, get more money than that, and you will burn the fire on that. And yeah, you know, we have to say with you. Still somewhere along the way where somebody touch back the ball and give them a pints where we never look for. But at the end of the day, it was party of Mount Vernon. And I, and you say that, you know what I mean? And um record crowd at the Mount Vernon Fest. And he was you was doing it. We see you as the John F. Kennedy at Mount Vernon. You know, you're dressed in we miss all that to your attire and you know, but Something, something just stop we now we track and we have to go back to the table. We have to admit it to it. We have to beg forgiveness to the people. And all that we need to do, you know, make the people know say, I and I have ear in our hand, nigga. So whatever, whatever, what make we move forward. Marian Barry style, you know, see it. And you know, we just move on, you know, see it and we just deal with that thing and we we'll say we're gonna get rid of everybody around us who wasn't faithful. I will never serve you, I will never come to court, I will never pray for you. And then, after we cleanse ourselves from that, you know, you know, it's going to be a great future for more Vernon Car. We have the vision and we have the inspiration, Mr. Mayor. Well, well just to, so just to speak, speak about the vision very briefly, look, there's a lot of money that's being poured into banks, and we have to make sure that as a city, um, we position ourselves or take advantage of the position of being able to do big projects because the only way we're going to get our economy back and want to build back better is if we build big and not just, you know, build, a, um, you know, build back a, a, um, something that's it's it might be good for a short term, but for the long term, for all the lives lost, for all the sacrifice. We got to build you know, a big, and that's where I, I can tell you that. We'll talk more about that in another segment. Yeah. You know, it's so important to understand that even the farmer mayor 
You know, my Jesse, mm. when we were also we are in Okoba, yes. hunting. Mm. So, the thing about it, you see, um, we, we have to be honest in everything we do, Jesse. I know I know I do the thing. Up, I'm a, so you know look just know that um, we we have a lot more to cover we have a lot more to do but right but right now i just i just want to make sure everybody knows that you know we we definitely love Mount Vernon and, and I'm gonna to continue to do everything to support Mount Vernon. Support the nine one four because you know, we all in it together, especially right now with this coronavirus, you know, keeping yeah. us apart. But um, you know, look, I, I know that um in my heart of hearts, um I can't wait to see Mount Vernon rise and shine again. And, right. and there's so many beautiful things that, that will be in front of us, but but we have to make sure that, you know, as these trillions of dollars are poured out from Washington, D.C., Mount Vernon sets a very ambitious and bold agenda to get a large chunk. I'm talking billions of dollars needs to be invested into Mount Vernon to create jobs, to, to, to make it that place for the people of Mount Vernon that are here right now. So... I'm just hoping and praying that that we that we look around and we agree that that what happened in the past it just needs to stay there. That's not our future. That should not define who we are. That should basically right. be the stepping stone to say we stepping up to a higher level. And the fight that was fought to get Mount Vernon in position to be safer and start growing the way that the plans that um, that were designed. I tell you, um, we started implementing and listening to the law department, listening to Nobel laureates from Stern School of Business, listening to bright minds like yours. Hey, Mount Vernon is, 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 is on its way. But, but I do know that this pandemic has definitely put everything on pause. But, but again, that's why I want to make sure we keep talking and encouraging everybody to do everything they can to keep pushing forward because that's the best direction to go is forward, higher, better, and we can all do it. I look forward to, to seeing everybody. I look forward to seeing Mount Vernon succeed, the current administration succeed. And, and you know, my role in the private sector is going to be a role of just pushing the city to, to a much better place. And I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah, it's a very, very, very good strong argument because as I said, Mount Vernon, um, is what we say, um, stepping out of a medieval um, concept, you know, that sleepy hollow mentality. Yep. And with you as the mayor and turning it into a party, Mount Burnham, it was very, very important because with that concept come towards him, we have what we call the new beachfront, you know, we have everybody now know that Mount Burnham is what we call money earning Mount Burnham because Everybody would want to come here. Everybody gonna want. So your vision still stand because everybody know that it was Ricky Thomas who put back Mount Vernon Memorial Field on the map, on the map, and don't let them turn it into a housing complex. And we have to thank you so much, you see, because we hear the, the plan. It was gonna turn it into a housing complex, and we would lose one of our greatest. Asset we have in this city. So I know you're excited for your son, Harris. Well, you know, because I said, you could have moved from here. You're a graduate from the University of New York. You're not petty mayor. And you did that while in office. So, Mr. Mayor, again, this way your gloves mm -hmm. are, gloves on. We know we're going to turn it up that people can hear us in almost 140 countries all over the world. And I want to thank Boba Jashi. A spiritual Rastaman up in the place here, and it's ironic, you know, we had this historical moment. But, the first, the but yes, it, yes, it, this is one of the things, yes, it, this is one of the things I wanted to point out. If you can, if yes. you can just talk about the importance of events and how people found work at these events, these various events, because you know, I look at the TV and I hear about the artists in Pennsylvania that you know, that is trying to get. Um, some funding from the stimulus 
because they're not working at the various events that they would go to to sell their art or the person from around the way that would, you know, either, you know, serve food or make food or, or, you know, be a DJ at some of these events that, that go on in different places. And it's all over the news. Like even Mark Cuban, the owner of uh, the Dallas um, Mavericks, um, he, he was basically talking about how he took steps to, to help out everybody that worked for his organization that, that, you know, basically worked by the hour. And, and, and without the games being played in the NBA, these people aren't working. So can you just talk a little bit about, very briefly before we wrap up, the importance of, you know, these events that were held to bring crowds out for tourism purposes or just for plain work? You know, one of the main things that I see that you have is, you know, an open office mentality. Um, you know, um, I remember you have the job, the job at 138 West um, on Burnham Avenue. Um, you know, we give out the number, the youth, we were, you know, you, you emphasize, especially when it comes to school break, so the kids them can have their job, you know, you increase the number under your administration. You make sure that um you know the grants go directly to the kids them, you know, especially at the dual center and things. So you <coughs> there was a lot of avenue and a lot of ways you said it, you know, um, you emphasize that um what's up, you know. Over there at First Avenue and East Third Street, you know, it's an open place of uh, pre-pregnant mother and all those things. And then the program with the, um, you know, with with over there at um, you know, where the seniors getting job at the armory, um, also. So um, and the new administration, one of the top priority was to make employment, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, with Ricky Thomas, you know. Yeah, yeah. We see Ricky Thomas uh, make sure the garbage, the sanitary work of them have a, a, you know, a proper truck, you know, instead of the breakdown truck with tires up. And you do everything to make the city look bright, you know, take it out of that medieval state, you know. Try to cover a comprehensive um, developer that can fix the sidewalk and, you know. So, you know, again... You know, the food bank, you know, you, you know, yeah, you know, you hear a lot of, lot of people, you know, I remember this young lady, you give that, you know, scholarship to go to school and now she's a teacher down, you know, in Manhattan. And you hear a lot of story where Richard Thomas doing a short time, he was the mayor of Mount Vernon. So, you know, um... Well, look, there's, so much you can say, you know? there, there, there's a lot to be yeah. said and, and, and there's a lot of confusion to clear up. But I do, right. but I do want to just make sure people know that you know this is one of many talks that come. We're gonna do this on a weekly basis. We're gonna talk it up, and we're gonna cover different topics. But a one of the things, gloves on, man. We know, we gloves know, off, gloves you know, on. Like the back Marvin again. Ali, you know, Sonny Lee Stant and Joe Fraser. You know, <laughs> smoking Joe Fraser, Trillian Manila. You know, we're gonna have some every guitar coming on. You know, maybe we we'll bring back Joe Fraser come talk or what, but we give thanks to Bobo Joshi, a great yeah, rasta, yeah. but a legend, Marvelly, Kingston 20, West Main Drive, you know, we say, you know, and we have a big up in Breda, you know, in Breda, um, the great Joe Star, you know, from International Joshi, I remember, uh, Mr. Mayor, this streaming in Africa and everywhere, right? Listen, it's going to be on, it's going to be everywhere, like we were, we're <laughs> everywhere. It's all yeah, love, yes, yeah, Jackie, all you know, positive. Yeah, yeah. And, and just and just know that you know look um one of many talks to come and and we have nothing but but love for everybody and I just yeah. want to make sure we ride out on on some on some on some right righteous music man gassy style yeah yeah Good boy. yeah man. Good boy. and that's what we are buffalo soldiers Bye, we are telling you, Mr. Mayor, you really, really get 
like raw, you know what I'm saying? Jamaica, a lot of us, a lot of us rub off by, you know what I mean? We give songs with it, but we know that with it, but we spirit yeah. tell it. Yeah, man. You know, and then your wife that you have, you know, right there from the island, that you saw the island thing, but you know, we are good people, man, you know, we just talk sometime and we are. You know, what are people and people, but we know what I mean, Between our strength and power, within a man still, a man can only really do as much as he can really go still. Yeah. Sometimes you want to do even more. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, you know, you can only just do the amount you can, you know what I mean, manage at the time. You know, you know that's but that's right. Within your mind still, there's always other grounds to cover. You know, there's always grounds to cover and thing and... You know, well, is, what we should do is we should ask we should ask people what they want us to talk about. You know, what they want to hear, what they want to know, and, <laughs> and let's and let's and let's come back again and let's make sure that we uh, we make sure people know that we hear them too. And and I look forward to our next talk where we're going to talk about the economic promise of the future because we have to reimagine how everything is going to be. You know, you're not just going to go back to you know, normal, it's a new normal. And yeah, and that's where that's I don't that. want us to get taken advantage of because the way Donald Trump, our president, set things up, he set it up for yeah. big corporations and big banks to take advantage of the little people. And you know what? That ain't right. And we got to fight back to make sure that our people, especially Mount Vernon, don't get taken advantage of because, you know, as you hear it every day, we on the front line. And a lot of the essential workers are people from Mount Vernon. And we got to make sure we do more to fight to protect ourselves, but also protect our future. And that's why I think it's important we we keep talking, gloves on, gloves off, to go after that better future that we want for our families and our kids. I want to put on the thing. Get it locked international, make everybody can listen on the radio, the TV. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And we take it international. Like the Beatles, it's like a revised um, ebony and ivory, you know? I like a bees and a honey. And so gloves up and gloves on, you know what I mean? It's still a type of day to do. You have a comeback from them as like, as like the conquering lion. No? Yeah, man. <laughs> you know? Well, I'm drinking, I'm drinking my, uh, my mug with my lion on it. Lion of Judah. <laughs> Mm. Sure, man. As we say, man, don't stop playing the good music with you. When we start off, we give them, and we have so much selection. But the thing about it, always remember, this is for social injustice and for the people. Sure. You know, we have to talk. Not to say we have to compromise, but we have to understand that people today still ask the question, when this is over, how can I recover? from this economical shock. God, this is yeah. an economical shock. I see people who have never been out of work, Mr. Mayor, for 10 days. Out of work 10 days, I don't know, out of us right now, they twisted, you know, and them so, you know, caught up in their, you know, their ways they can't beg, you know. Yeah. And it's, it's a lot of wickedness going out here, you know, and that's and not that's, fair, Mr. Mayor, you and, know what I mean? And, and that's why you know? I want to make sure everybody knows, like, Everything I did was designed to put into place a plan to make Mount Vernon's economy stronger. Like, we are a place where you make things and make things happen. And and look, you know, from pop-up galleries for art to, you know, having different types of, of activities. Like... You know, the future plans were really designed to, to make Mount Vernon a place for sports and tourism through collaboration with good and great food. So I can only tell you that, man, I I was focused on making Mount Vernon the youth sports capital of, of the country to rival uh, Frisco, Texas. But hey... You know, maybe the vision was was a bit too ambitious. Maybe we moved too fast. I know I'm not perfect. I know mistakes were made, but but that's part of the journey that we were on to make Mount Vernon better. And yeah. and, and and again, I I look forward to to having not just you on, but other people to talk to us. About, you know, what is it that we need to do to just get it done and make it better? And whatever role I need to play. 
I'm going to play it. But I know that right, my no. focus remains no, 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 no. in the private no, 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 no. sector because I'm, I'm, you know, the chapter of my life, you know, I set a goal many years ago to, to you know, to be in public service to do my part. And I feel that that first, part has been done. First, and, first you know, first look, we, 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 I got, I got other work to do and I'm going to focus on yeah. that other work. But I just want to make sure that, that, you know, the narrative in the record is written correctly that, you know, the decisions we made were always made under advice of counsel. It was made because the law department and, and you know, gave good advice, be it from the law department or from special counsel, Jerry Kremer. Um, I, I know that listening to, to, to you and your ideas that you get directly from the people were, you know, straight from the people. And that's why I always made it a point to walk the streets and to be engaged with people at all times, because this was about giving people back their community. And and as I look at this pandemic and how it has pulled us all apart, I see the setup. The rules are being changed. Our civil liberties are, are under attack. And, you know, the, 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 the economy, what are you going to do for work as this either A continues or once we restart, work ain't going to restart right away. So there has to be a lot of discussion about the systems that need to be strengthened. Like you mentioned before, the food bank. Can you imagine, Gassy, if the food bank, you know, and our partnership wasn't in full effect on a weekly well, basis well, giving well, out food? Listen, Think listen, about listen, it. Listen to this. This is real. That vision is so important. You know how many senior is hungry now and nobody telling them mm. or telling anybody. That's why. Right now, we need an immediate food bank in every building right now, Mr. Mayor. And I would imply that as we talk, you come up and form that idea with corporate America and try to get that done. So you can continue. I'm not telling that, Mr. Mayor, yeah. right now. Yeah, there's, in, there's, there's definitely a food issue. There's definitely a food issue. Who, cannot, who are scared to come out to the store while they are in here hungry. And nobody got, this is one of the biggest secret in Morganham. I mean, the mayor come over, do a center and give away some stuff like that. But that is not adequate. We have to have the food bank immediately in the building so you can know that they're getting there. And they need them to net to, they need them. You know, you need to set up a program right away now in every building. Car. Mount Vernon is a senior, um, yeah, senior community. community. So right now, Mr. Mayor, I imply you, if you want to come out and check it out yourself, you have to get a group of volunteers. Show them so right now you care because your grandmother teach you and you remember what your grandmother got through here. And may I tell you that, Mr. Rude, okay, yeah. right now, and see yeah. what's going on. Come still. Last night we cooked some food and people is begging. That's what I'm doing out here, Richie. Cooking, giving away bread. We used to give away a hundred bread every week. I used to see the place I'm in. And right now they close on the pantry and no bread. All they're giving away now is, is orange. Right now I have about six grapefruit. I may have some, some, you know, Jewish bread and all them things there. And, you know, people come in and ask, but may I tell you that, Mr. Mayor? You have to hear what I'm saying. A lot of senior from North Fifth Building to all of the buildings. If you're going there right now, just go it tomorrow with anybody official in the answer. Make could check them and hear the complaint what you get. A lot of senior is dead in the hungry. Mm. Uh, well, we're gonna. Is, well, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, we, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna re reach out, make some phone calls, and see what. You know, see if I can get some, um, you know, some of the restaurant owners to, you know, let's create a, a system to, to right. help to help um, address that need. And, yes. and I'll definitely reach out to, um, you know, the city to see if, if, if you know, if they want to help play a role in this as well. I mean, like, I think they do, but, but I do. We need a substantial, like, like, you see, in the hospital, you have downstairs, you have it. A substation as stationary down there to monitor them 24 hours well, with well, food well, and well, everything. You know, that's a new frontier, you know, Mr. Mayor. That's what I see. You can come out here, Richie, and see it. Richie, you have people right now hungry 
in the building right now cannot eat no food yep. is there for them and thing. It is terrible what's going on right now, Mr. Mayor. And we need to have, you know, you know, something that can give them hope still, even though they are 80 years old, they still need hope. So you have to get that, you know, somewhere. Is but what you said makes sense that you're waking up the city. If you can get a couple restaurants to volunteer, even for one building. For so one night or a morning or an evening, but it is all the fear you try the statistic and don't follow what yeah. Jesse said. Just go out there with you, just visit one building, even the building on um over there and not fifth or uh, over here on the south side, because you know they always very, very hard on the south side. Yeah. Even the project I'm, I'm the gonna, I'm, will be a good we're gonna, place for you we're to gonna, get a statistic. We're gonna regroup on this, but just just yeah. know, but just know that look. There's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of, yeah, of, of issues to address. Just know that, you know, my objective is to help everybody because we all in this together. And that's why I'm like, look, it's about one love, one life. It's about all of us. And I just want to thank you for, you know, restarting this, uh, you know, gloves on, gloves off. Gloves on, um, gloves on. We just Fire getting started. Yeah, no, I just know that we're going we gonna to be back with some more. We're going to cover a lot of different topics. And uh, uh, the coronavirus will be one of it, it but more, but more importantly, you know, we're going to talk about the future and what that should look like and how we can get there together. Because, you know, look, the plans are there. The plans are on the shelf. Um, right. I'm, I'm looking forward to, to helping as much as possible. But just know that my objective remains to support Mount Vernon no matter no matter what. So, look, man, I appreciate you. Um, love everything that you and the Rasa class uh, are doing. And bless you. Richie, we have a bigger picture. Your picture look good. Your picture look fresh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I have a big of my picture too. You know, Mr. Keys. We we, we gonna get America. you. We gonna get America. you on with a live feed <laughs> soon. <laughs> yeah, man. Give thanks to his prayer, man. Bubba Josh, give a prayer. Before you know, we have to get a prayer. Yeah, let's and get the get prayer. Prayer, there, Bubba Josh, and thing. You know, before we close out the program, gloves off, gloves on. Big up to last year, my um, the great McDonald and Cherry Buck as well, always. Just there. Just life and uh, at stone, you know. Give thanks and praise unto the most, I. You know. Shit. You know. Bless may, you. may, may, may the, the, the peace and favor of that surround you all today. You know, give thanks again. You know, for, for his you. guidance and his protection, you know. To keep us, you know, within, you know, the, 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 a firm understanding in ourselves, you know. Bless and, bless you know, bless, bless, bless and guide and keep us. So, we give thanks. And the next fullness about this, this now is that, blessed heart of love. That is love, so we should all love. God and God is creation love. So keep us within this oneness so we can build and make ourselves more helpful towards the Father and among ourselves. Praise be the Lord. Give thanks. Blessings, 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 blessings. Gloves up, gloves up, fire out, barbale, juice, land, book us. Big up me, Richie Thomas, more burn up, I will say, I'm more Zion, not more burn up. 914, all the man, them tank for the tank, and all over the world, they're listening to us. Come and speak to us at Jamaica, New York, more burn up, I want this to say, one love family. Let's go to be true, now, Mr. Mayor. You know, see, that's no fear. <laughs> blessings, 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 blessings. Blessed, blessed, Mr. Mayor. Top program, up top.